Hi, I'm Bree Tyndall from The Curated Crayon. Today I am here filming at the beautiful Wicked Tulip Farm in Exeter, Rhode Island. I hope you enjoy and do my activity, which is a salted watercolor tulip painting. It's wonderfully windy today, and today, in honor of these beautiful tulips, we are going to paint a salted watercolor tulip painting. So let us begin. It's gonna be nice and quick and easy. What you need to know about what you need, is you're going to need some watercolor paper. You're going to need a permanent marker or crayon works. You're going to need some paint brushes, some water, and you're also, of course, going to need some watercolors. Oh, and a little salt shaker too. So let us begin. So we're just going to draw with our permanent marker or crayon some tulips. Tulips out in the field. I'm so inspired today by being here. We're gonna keep our tulips nice and simple. I'm gonna draw three. I think three looks nice across the paper. It's a nice thing to see. A big one here. And you really can make them unique and make them your own. The shapes are quite simple. As you can see, I'm just going up and down creating little peaks, little valleys. Mm -hmm. Big leaves, don't forget your tulip leaves there. And we might add some grass down below. And I think it's important just to go back in, maybe add a little extra shading because the black always looks really nice when you give it a little boldness. It really calls out your drawing. Again, this is nice, simple, and as I always say, good for kids, and it's also good for grown-ups. So I'll just go in, add a little more detail, and then we're going to get to the next fun part, which is to add in our watercolors. There we go. A little detail for your viewing eyes today. As you can see, it's very windy, and I'm doing my best to hold on to my materials. So. Oh boy. <laughs> As you can see, we're having a hoot filming today. So, you're going to dip your paintbrush into some water. You want it nice and clean and clear. Hold on as we do some readjusting of my set. Here we go. We're back to business now. <laughs> and then we're going to take, and we're just going to wet the watercolor tulip. Just enough, we'll just get it wet. And then we're gonna dip our paintbrush into our color of choice. I'm gonna start with the purple. And don't forget, I always remind you guys, change your paint in between by rinsing your brush in the water. And then you're gonna go and just saturate, so really add some paint to your very wet tulip like that. And then quickly, I wanna show you when you salt it, so make sure you have your salt shaker handy. You sprinkle some salt on that water and it crystallizes and it starts to make this really cool crystal effect. Now it does take a few hours to dry, but once it is dry, you wipe the salt off and you have a really cool effect. So we're gonna keep on painting. We're gonna go paint right across the other colored tulips. We'll do a bright orange. Oh, I skipped a step. I like to wet my tulip paper first. There we go. Get your tulip nice and oh. go back to the orange. There we go. We're gonna tip this again. Get our salt shaker handy. Give a sprinkle. If you find at times you, your paper doesn't seem wet enough, you can always take a quick little burst of a spray bottle to it, or you can also just re-wet it with a little few drops of water from a clean paintbrush. So that also works. So we're gonna keep going across. And you need to work fairly quickly because the paint will start to kind of dry and the salt doesn't quite have the same effect if it's not wet enough. All right. We'll do like a beautiful blue. Here we go. Oh. As you can see, I'm do <laughs> doing my best to hold it all down here. All 
right, here we go. I like to use nice and bright and bold colors when I do this because I think it really pops more than some more subdued colors, but that's up to you. Shake a little more salt on this one. And then we're gonna go back to the stems and even a little bit of the grass too. Lots of greens about to happen here. And again, same process, wet with a clean water, clean paintbrush. Wet your paper first, the area you then wanna paint with a the color. Then go back over it with your color. And here I can already tell, like I, that needs a little more water to really have a good effect when you sprink, sprinkle the salt. So, here we go, ah, it's a little better, all right. I think sprinkling the salt on watercolor is one of my most favorite art techniques. Oh, and you see, I totally got ahead of myself, skipped and didn't water it first, but that's okay. We can go right back and do that. All right, a little more. We'll give it, make this guy a slightly different shade of green on the stem and leaf. There we go. Get this a little more wet. And we're almost there. Look at that. Pitch more water. A little salt. So you can see this is a fun process you can do over and over again. Okay, and then, very importantly, we're gonna do a little bit of the grass. Actually, for this, I'm going to swap brushes to cover a wider space. So, use the, what you have for brushes on hand at home. Use kind of a medium brush to do most of this. Sometimes I use a real pointed brush or brush, or brush with um, good curves to it if I really want to get in some angles. All right, there we go. And it looks like I'm almost due to change my water. If I wasn't outside, I probably would go change it. All right. water almost done a little more salt and there you have it salted watercolor tulip painting now I think these are best done outside um, and then they dry more quickly and once that salts dry you just have to wipe it off of them so kind of like this sometimes it sticks a bit but but as you can see in these and then this one here it gives it a crystallized effect hope you've had fun with this today and we'll see you the next time on the curated crayon